So if you're watching this video right as it came out, League Start is only in a few hours. And what that means is that you need a League Start guide. Now, if you're interested in any other kinds of guides, talking about like early league farming strategies, even some build guides as we go throughout the league and a whole bunch of stuff about the new league, new mechanics, all that kind of good stuff, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be putting out those kinds of videos as we go through the league. However, let's talk about League Start guides and what I think that you should choose from in the next coming up league. First off, we have the Bone Shattered Juggernaut. Now, I did put a build guide out for this. It'll be linked up in the top right corner now. The whole idea behind this build is it's basically the only melee build that you can realistically play at this point. Good clear, tanky, doesn't have any problem with gearing besides maybe the weapon, which I've included all kinds of build guide stuff for. And Juggernaut is probably the ascendancy that most people are going to be going for soft core. If you do want to give the Slayer variant a try, there is going to be links down in the description as well as for the Juggernaut version version to Karn's Bone Shatter build. The difference between Slayer and Juggernaut is that Juggernaut's going to be a little bit more consistent, a little bit easier to get off the ground, and better in the very super late end game. Slayer is going to be significantly better in specifically the mid game, but it suffers a little bit from some difficulties when it comes to staying alive and keeping the build going. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, which no, you know, no offense meant, you probably know who Pox is and you probably know what Righteous Fire is. If you are looking for the easiest, simplest, laziest build where you don't really have to do anything, if you've got like wrist pains or mobility issues or things like that, you probably want to be playing Righteous Fire and Pox is the guy to be following. He has Righteous Fire guides for pretty much every single ascendancy that you can imagine. Pretty sure Righteous Fire Inquisitor is the one that he's going to be going with this league all of it is linked down in the description he's got like a full website with every single question that you could ever imagine answered go check out pox um, if you haven't played this build but you're looking for something lazy it's probably about time that you do it now the first new build on the list is going to be this hex blast mines build from palstron you might remember palstron for all of his like totem ballista builds which he has updated all of those for 3.22 as well if you want to play those however this is a little bit different it's using some uniques that are being returned from sanctum and it's got the the mine play style, which the big thing about the mine play style is that if you are able to one shot an enemy with your first like spattering of mines that you put on the ground, then you've just one shot them. There's not really much that you have to worry about. If you do that much damage, you can kill stuff before it even has a chance to look at you the wrong way. So this build is apparently pretty solid for mapping. It is really good for content where you can pre-place your mines, think things like expedition or like essences and things like that. And pretty good for some simple bossing once you get the gear going. It's a new build. It's a little bit different from what people have been doing before. So if you're looking for something different, suggest that you give it a shot. Next build on the list is surprise, surprise, a lightning arrow Deadeye build. Now this is for the soft core juicers. This is for people who are a little bit more skilled at the game. Someone who is maybe on their like third or fourth league start and they want to try doing some like early soft core map juicing, get some good currency going and try to, you know, get ahead of the game. This build is absolutely excellent through the campaign and through the early maps and everything if you know what you are doing and you are able to pilot the character well. I've league tested this myself. You can find my league start testing down in the live section of my YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing some of that. I was able to go all the way from the beach up to killing Eater and Exarch in solo cell found in like 12 hours, I think is what I did. And that was like the first time ever playing the build. Build is absolutely excellent. It is not super tanky, kind of falls over if you get hit by certain things. It's not really a bossing build, but I'm gonna be using this to go from basically like the beach to as quickly as I can get a headhunter and everything else to farm up some juicy currency and a whole bunch of other stuff. Legion, delirium orbs, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest that you go check out Tuna's guide if you're looking for a full build guide. I did put a video out talking about specifically my plans for this, like things having to do with my early Atlas strategy, like some leveling trees and stuff like that. But for the final build guide, you should probably go check out Tuna's because I didn't really throw a great one together. Last thing on the list is going to be the new Corrupting Fever champion that Rue has cooked up. He is unfortunately banned right now and there's not really a lot of like visual content that I can show you of the build. However, there is a spectral throw version of Corrupting Fever that he's using with cold iron points. So the whole idea here is that this is 
just a little bit easier to get a hold of gear early on in the league so it should be similar and you can swap over to the wand version whenever you're ready this is a very consistent very tanky mapping build it's even got some good single target now with vol reap being available overall a very powerful early map juicing build if you're looking for something that's a little bit tankier maybe not as fast or maybe not as good at clearing as something like lightning arrow however this is going to be way more consistent way more tanky and probably a little bit easier to pilot for the average player so if you're wanting something that has a little bit of that soft core juice feeling but you're not going to die as often this is probably the build that you want to go for all of this and everything before it is all linked down in the description i will be linking ruse um google doc here that has a whole bunch of pobs and stuff in it since he doesn't really have a youtube channel he doesn't really have anything else here Every Everything is always going to be linked down in the description. And that is going to be it for the video. Make sure that you come and check out me. I'm going to be live for the league start if you want to see Lightning Arrow Deadeye. If not, I hope that you have a great league start. And remember, boys, if you enjoy this content, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos, and stay safe out there in Ray Class. And I'll see you guys in the next video.